Welcome back for another video blog. It's Victor and Matt from the 110 Sports Podcast. A big weekend in college football as it kicked off this past weekend. Victor, I'm very disappointed in Notre Dame. I was kind of drinking the Brian Kelly Kool-Aid. I thought they were going to have a very good season. I thought they were going to almost return to prominence possibly this season with a fairly easy schedule ahead of them. Uh, I thought they were actually going to get a BCS berth. <laughs> that makes one of us. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they came out that first half against South Florida and just didn't even show up, it looked like. And then benefited really from a rain delay. Came back from the second half, played okay, but obviously still lost. A very disappointed, uh, disappointing opening game for them. And South Florida is a good team under Skip Holtz as well in their second year. They're a team that probably can win their conference, the Big East, but still as Notre Dame... You looked at this game as, as a game to win, and it's a little disappointing at the start for them, but uh, we'll see how they continue to do the rest of the year. The biggest game, though, of the night was LSU and Oregon. What did you take away from that game? Well, I think LSU's better than most people thought. I think they their speed um, on defense really will uh, cause havoc on teams this year, and the fact that they played without two of their better players that they were looking at uh, to help them this year, I think that can only be a positive when they get back. I think on the other side, the flip side with Oregon, I think you got to kind of look at it. They're Ohio State. And what I mean by that is they beat up in the conference, like Ohio State yeah. has done. Mm -hmm. But when they play the big games, two years ago, Boise State, their last two BCS games, and then now against Arkansas, they struggle. They can't win them. Now, I think it's unfair to say I mean, two of them were the SEC teams, so they're, the SEC is the best team, so it's Unfair in that situation, but to put them in like a USC category of dominating, they can't until they do other things. I still think they're the team to beat in the Pac-10, but it is kind of alarming that Chip Kelly, in the big four games, he hasn't won them. And they're under NCAA investigation, yep. <laughs> which is uh, very similar to Ohio State. So yeah. that's an interesting analogy. And then you look at Boise State, a team that I'm uh, not really rooting for in a sense, Victor. Me neither. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not for these BCS busting teams. But they uh, beat Georgia this past weekend. Now they have a pretty clean run, similarly to last season. So they could slip up, but now they have a nice run and have an undefeated season and possibly sneak into that first national championship game. Uh, but Georgia, disappointing. No, really start. disappointing for Georgia. Had Georgia won this game, I think it would have gotten the monkey off, or that gorilla off Mark Ricks' back. It's been kind of uh, growing the last few years. I think with the, the improvement of the Alabamas, the Arkansas, and the LSUs, that's where the level is. And, and Georgia's kind of stayed the same. And I think in some cases, with all that talent in Georgia, Mark Ricks has underachieved a little bit. And if he, this loss is bad, and if they continue to struggle three or four games into the season, if they haven't won or they're 500, I wouldn't be surprised if they pull the plug on that. Well, coming up on our next podcast on episode 119 on 110sportspodcast.com, we'll speak to a former Georgia player who played under Mark Rick. His name is David Pollock. He's also the latest uh, addition to ESPN's College Game Day. So it'll be really fun to talk to him about Georgia struggles and uh, what's going on with college football this past weekend and the conference expansion talk. So join us for episode 119 on 110sportspodcast.com.